Hello and welcome to today's healthy snacking video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my preferred chopped salad. So I have a salad spinner here and I'm going to chop some lettuce and I'll show you how I do that. So it's not washed yet because I'm gonna wash it after I chop it. But I basically just take a head of romaine lettuce and then I start at the end and I have a serrated knife and I'm keeping the knife away from my fingers. When I get closer, I can go like this. I don't want the lettuce to really like fall off of the cutting board. So I'm just going to put it in a salad spinner and just slice it. Being very careful not to get close to my fingertips. So you can make this salad however you like. This is how I like it. I'm going to do another head. I don't particularly like the ends of the lettuce. So I'm going to leave those off. And then again, I just do the same thing with this head of lettuce. Okay, so the lettuce is cut. Um, you can see it is kind of small, especially when you get down to like where the head of uh, the lettuce was, like the root. You can see that it gets smaller towards the top of the head. It was longer, I'm fine with that. Feel free to chop it up as small as you like. Now I'm going to rinse this under water and use the salad spinner to dry it. Okay, so the salad is cleaned. You can see all the water left in the salad spinner. And then I'm just going to add this clean spin uh, lettuce to a big bowl. So I have a whole bunch of chopped celery and I'm gonna show you how I do that now. So I line up my celery and I cut the ends off and then I spin them around and do the same to the other side. And then I slice them down the half, down the middle like that. And if it's still a little big, I'll do that again. So just slice it down the middle, being very careful with my knife. And I find a serrated knife. Well, this knife in particular for me works really well for this. And I just wanna be careful again. So when I'm holding the celery, I'm being very thoughtful of where I'm putting my knife because I don't want to stab my fingers. So I'm being very thoughtful of where my knife goes. And then again, if it's still big, I'll slice it again. Then I take the celery, line it up again, and then Just slice it or chop it or dice it, however you like. I don't like these little strings, so if I see them, I'll just pull them off. Sometimes the pile might be too big so I can break it up in half. And again, I wanna hold my fingertips in because if I'm going like this, I'm more likely to cut off the tips of my fingers. Um, so I hold my fingertips in to protect them. And again, be very thoughtful of where the knife is going. And 
in about a minute. I just sliced and diced a nice amount of celery. So this is not washed again. So I'm gonna put it in my salad spinner and wash them. So I cook a lot during the week to save me some time. I prep all of my celery ahead of time. So now my celery is ready for soups and slow cook meals, salads, um, and it saves me time during the week so that I can just come and grab as much celery as I need and it's all ready to go. And then I will add the rest of the celery or however much I want to the salad. You'll notice that I still have the celery hearts in this container. Uh, these ones right here, because they are great for soups and stews and I'll just cut the leaves off and just put them right in. All right, so now our celery is added to the salad. Let's work on carrots. Okay, so I have some carrots and I do the same thing for the carrots. The carrots take a little bit longer because they're not as big unless you're using whole carrots, but all I have are baby carrots. So first, I carefully slice it in half and then in half again. So that they're smaller and then I line them up again and cut them up. If any are a little big, I'll go back in and just cut them down. I always double wash my vegetables especially when I'm eating them raw. Even if the bag says that they're washed, I still wash them again in cold water. Cold water will keep them crisp. So I just rinsed them. And then I spin them to dry them. And the carrots are ready to be added. water here so you can stop here or you can just keep adding vegetables that you like I'm going to add some red onion so I don't know if this is like the proper way to slice or dice onion this is just how I do it so carefully hold the onion and then I find about how wide I want the slice and I don't want it very wide because I want small pieces and if the onion is big, it can be pretty hard to cut. So please, please be careful. And then I'm gonna do two of those slices. This salad is gonna feed about four people, so it's a little bit bigger. So you don't have to add as much if it's just for you. Or chopped salad holds up actually surprisingly well in the fridge. So you can make a big batch and then just put it in the fridge to have whenever you feel like snacking on salad. So then I always cut the outer layers of the onion off. And then I cut the onion in half. And then I Again, I don't know if this is like the best way or the easiest way. It's just the way that I do it. It works out pretty well. And then I just slice it, again, being very careful of my fingers. So I'll show you again how I do that. I like the pieces of the onion pretty small. So it looks like a rainbow and then I just cut it and turn it cut it and turn it cut it and turn it if I'm using a whole onion I will cut it differently it's a lot easier but when I'm just using a slice or two this is how I do it 
It's a little bit time consuming, but it gets the pieces to the size that I like them. And then just for ease, I like to add some cheese, but I like to just cut up some string cheese. You are free to add whatever cheese you like. You can also add some green onions, but I cut the cheese the same way I cut the vegetables. I just cut it in half. And I might cut it, oh, maybe I'll cut this piece in half again so I get some different sizes and this piece. So now I have some really small pieces and I have some bigger pieces. You can also just add some shredded cheese or just cut up cubes of fresh cheese. This is what I have and this is easy. So as far as other vegetables, you can add anything you want. You can add some apples if you want. You can add green onions, you can add peppers, you can add some olives, you can add anything you want. Apples are really nice in salad when you dice them up like the size of the rest of the vegetables. They give a nice crunch and a nice burst of sweetness. So now I have all the vegetables I'm going to add to my salad and I'm going to add the dressing. Okay, so I am adding, I like to add a creamy dressing to my, my chopped salads. So I'm doing a combination of avocado green goddess dressing and cilantro avocado. Um, these are really good. They're yogurt based, so they're lower in fat, lower in calories, lower in sugar. Um, but I really like these so i'm just going to add them in and then we'll stir so i usually just add tablespoon by tablespoon just so i know how much is going in but i mean feel free to just measure with your heart you also want to be very careful about the dressings that you put on salad. So while salad is healthy and really good for you, they can be loaded up with sugars and fat and you know, um, a lot of artificial ingredients. So just take a peek at the ingredients and uh, that can help you know if, oops if the salad dressing is going to be better. So I'm doing about eight tablespoons, four and four, and then I'm gonna mix it and then we'll see how that looks. So let me grab my forks to mix it. I literally just take two forks and mix it and it's it's gonna take a while to make sure it's all coated and I kind of like turn the bowl a little and then mix a little bit more. You can see it's getting a lot more coated. Um, I also don't like it drenched in dressing. So just lightly coated like this is what I prefer. It also keeps your salad healthier. So I actually, um, this cilantro avocado I got has also, it smell. it smells like tacos. Like maybe it has a little bit of taco seasonings in it, but oh, it smells really good. This is like really well coated. This is actually what I like. You can eat this with some shrimp some chicken, uh, some tofu. You can add some seeds to it, some salmon, have it for a snack, have it as a meal. Um, 
you could have this as like a taco salad. Add some ground beef with some taco seasoning and have, make yourself a taco salad. Like the possibilities are endless. I would add tomatoes, but I don't have any, but tomatoes are a great addition to any salad. You can also add some roasted veggies to give it some extra flavor. So um, I'll probably eat this with a hard boiled egg sliced and on top. Um, you could add a little bit of, you know, bacon bits, which are actually not meat. So if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can have bacon bits or you can make some fresh turkey bacon and crumble some up on top. But this is my chopped salad. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.